Hello guys, when new user registers in your filament system, wouldn't it be cool to send them a welcome email? In this video, I will show you how to do exactly that. And I will show you the plugin where you can customize the templates for emails, like for example, for welcome email or for whatever email in your system. And this is a plugin called Database Mail. This is not a free plugin. It costs 59 euros, at least it shows me in euros the price, but it has 16 stars, which is not zero, which means people are actually using that. This comes from Martin and disclaimer, Martin emailed me to ask for a review and gave me the license to test it out. But I'm not affiliated. I don't get paid for this video. I just thought it's a really good package and I will show you how it works. And also this will be kind of a lesson on events and listeners, both in Filament and in Laravel. So how to trigger the email that would be powered by that plugin. Let me show you. So first the installation of the plugin, after you purchase the plugin, you get the license, email and password, which you put in terminal while installation after compose require. And then there are a few things you need to set up. Database mail migrations, which creates the database table then configuration, one more configuration for unlayer API, which is actually powering that editor of template. And then you may use exception reporting if you want to. So additional features, but this is kind of the main feature. If you want to add that mails menu item here, this is how you do it. Registering as plugin, the only typo here, there should not be a semicolon here. At least PHP Storm underlined that for me in red. So when you do that, you get the mails menu item where you can create new mail. So down below there's a template subject and body where you can add text, columns, images and stuff like that. And this is powered by unlayer editor if we click that here. So this is not a filament or Laravel thing. It's an editor for general content just implemented in this filament plugin. But the thing is before you create the template you need to do a few things in Laravel and filament to create an event that would be triggered to send that email. So in the drop down here, you may choose the event and I've created that event manually and I will show you that in a minute. And also each event may have multiple recipients. So when you choose the event, here are the check boxes. In my case, it's just one check box who receives that email. Now let's dive into the code, how to activate all of that. So when reading the documentation for this plugin and trying it out, I noticed one typical downside of any documentation. The author assumes some knowledge from the developer, which may not be the case. For example, usage create events and it casually mentions your standard Laravel events. What if I don't know how to create standard Laravel events? And this may be very real case for filament users. Filament users typically are not that deep into Laravel event and listener system. So it shows an example, app events registered. So you need to create that event. So you need to Google in the documentation of Laravel how to do that. Then you need to add implement. And then you need to add a few more methods that are required. So name of your event, description is optional and then recipients. This is where you define who may receive that email. Now let me show you the code of my project. So this is how I activated the plugin, the same as in the docs. And then this is my event. So I run PHP artisan make event user register. This will be a custom Laravel event. And the default Laravel event has a lot more use things related to sockets and channels. And I've deleted all of that. We don't need that here, but we do need a few things from the package. So implements trigger database email, also add here can trigger database email in constructor. We may optionally pass parameters here and later I will show how to pass that parameter from wherever we catch the filament registration event. And then those two things I've shown you from the docs, just in my case, it's user registered event user. And that event user is the same thing as it is in constructor. So after I do that, then that event appears in the choice in the drop down here. Now the next thing is to trigger to dispatch that event from somewhere. So how can we hook into filament registration or Laravel auth events? And it's not perfectly clear in the Laravel or filament documentation. At first I tried to create a separate registration page. So register custom page and I thought to override some method from filament registration and the method would be register. Here I am showing that in vendor and in here there are hooks. So potentially we can hook into after register in filament. 
or I could just copy paste the whole register into my class and override just the part that I need to dispatch that event. But then I saw this line. So filament itself, after the registration is done, is firing the event registered, which is filament event that has user as a parameter. And this is interesting. There's filament event registered, and also there's Laravel event register from Laravel Illuminate off. So depending on which event you want to catch, you may to catch just filament registration or any registration that comes from Laravel, for example, from external API or something. But in this case, we want to catch registered event from filament. And after doing that, we need to dispatch, kind of chain the event of our registration to send the email. It may sound complicated, but I haven't found any other way to implement that plugin. And this is kind of the problem or the reality of that filament plugin. Most of the job is not with the register of plugin, but how to call that event from Laravel or filament. And in my opinion, the documentation of the plugin should be better pointing the links to Laravel documentation or some filament resources, how the event system actually works. So what I ended up doing is creating a listener. So command PHP artisan make listener user registration listener. And in Laravel, if you create a listener and provide some event as a parameter in the handle, then it would automatically listen to that event. So you don't need to register it anywhere. So whenever filament registered happens, then that listener listens to that event and dispatches that user registered that we created for the email. And then that public user is replaced with the user from filament event. And then one more part I've skipped, I've missed, you need to register that event in the config of database mail plugin. Only then that event appears in the dropdown in filament panel. Interestingly, and kind of ironically, the illuminate event registered is mentioned as a default commented out value here. But if you just uncomment that one, it doesn't work because that registered event from Laravel doesn't know anything about get name, get recipients, or any other methods required by that plugin. So we cannot use that from Laravel. And then finally, I've tried it out and sent an email to my mail tribe in this case. So in my email template, I edit and I have a variable here, which automatically goes from that user variable that we pass in the constructor. So you can use parameters like username, like you would do in a typical blade template. That is very convenient. So now if I sign out, sign up for an account, I will use fake filler Chrome extension. And if I sign up, I don't get the email right away, because by default, that email goes to the queue. So in the database, if we refresh the jobs table, and I use database driver for queues, we have that payload to send that email to actually send the email, we need to run queue work, or have that in the background. Now it is running and done in two seconds. And if we go to our mail trap, we hit refresh, and we got our email. Welcome to our system. And the name is from the variable. So yeah, it works. But to actually make it work, I've spent roughly an hour trying the events and listeners and various ways to trigger the plugin functionality. So advice to you, if you're creating some plugin or template or framework or whatever, in the docs describe related resources, what they need to learn to enable your plugin and even better provide the full example. For example, the documentation is long and very good, but in the example, it doesn't provide any ready-made example. This is just showing the empty template, but I would like to see the variables here and how that event was specifically registered and triggered. Or maybe I've missed that in the documentation. I'm not really sure. In here, it just says dispatch the event as you would dispatch any other Laravel event. But if I'm not familiar with how to dispatch events, then I just cannot use that plugin. And of course, you can send emails without that plugin. Sorry, I'm losing my voice for whatever reason. You can of course send emails manually by catching the same filament auth registered event. This plugin just allows you to create templates or maybe your user administrators who are non-technical to customize those templates like as marketing team. What do you think about this plugin? Would you use it or you have other alternatives to send emails and customize emails in filament? Let's discuss in the comments below. And again, I'm not affiliated with this plugin. I don't get paid, but if you do want to support my work on this channel, you can go to our filament examples and browse through various projects, which may or may not include email sending. I don't even remember at this point. There are 72 projects 
and you can access the repository with all their source code by purchasing filament examples. And by doing that, you're supporting my time to work on this channel with free videos. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.